it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining today. Um, as you can see on my board, we're gonna be doing Big Bird today. I have resisted doing Big Bird. I've actually turned away requests because um, he's just one big yellow furry thing and I felt like I couldn't do it without the seams and there didn't seem to be at the time, I, didn't, I couldn't think of any way to really um, like with materials or whatever to try to make him big. And so I've turned people away because I felt like even though they said it's okay with the seams, it's gonna look horrible. And then people are gonna say, oh, she did a hor horrible job. <laughs> so I avoided it all. But um, I've gotten better and I'm sure as you um, following along, and I found a way to make this look seamless. So if you haven't checked it out, the design space tutorial, I gotta say it's one of my better moments of figuring something out and making it so cool. So anyway, today we're just gonna be piecing it together. So you kind of see his pieces. I'm gonna show you first, we always do the black background. So let me move this out of the way. And I'm right here. I'm just gonna put this here though, so give me just one second. All right, so this is basically, I mean, it was a very easy project. I really, really like this one. So you can see the black background is just five pieces. It's these four plus the head. So I'm gonna move the face out of the way because I already had it in there. I mean, just everything is so stinking cute. All right, so the first thing with this is, um, oh my gosh, and I want to show off this little thing. So I saw this the other day at Michael's, and look at this. This clips onto anything, and this swivels. So I'm so excited to have this. I'm going to clip it onto my desk, which I don't think you'll be able to see. It's right here. Um, but now it's attached to my desk, which I love, and you can easily take it off. All right, so with the black background, we always tape from behind because we can't tape from the front because you're gonna be able to see it through because we're putting the colored pieces on top, right? So we wanna flip this over. And then you wanna tape two pieces at one time. So I'm just gonna grab some scotch tape. I'm gonna tape these two first. So you're gonna take one hand and kind of hold both pieces together and the other one kind of push it in to make sure that it's as seamless as can be. So I'm gonna put down the tape here and then right here as well. And then we'll do these two pieces together and then we'll pair them up, right? So let's grab this one, push it together and you see how easy it is for this to line up. That's partially, um, well, it's one reason why I really like to do the grid of squares that we do. I know some other YouTubers don't do it that way, but I find that it's easier to, um, to make it look seamless because these pieces go together so easily that we can push it up against each other. And so it, just makes for a whole seamless project um, and easier for us to deal with. <laughs> All right, so let me move this. I think it's right here. Okay. Now, after we put all this together, what I do, what I do want to go back and do is make sure that at the edges we're really good about taping it up because at the edges is where we don't have any colors to sit on top, right? Like in the middle, we're gonna be putting on a ton of the, the yellow cardstock, but at the edges, there's nothing. And that's where you're gonna see the seams because it may catch some light. So we just wanna make sure that there's no flapping of the sides. All right, so let's do this head. And you don't want the tape to go through to the other side. Because as you can see from here, the scotch tape on the black cardstock, it's not invisible. It's actually very, very visible. So you wanna make sure that you don't go past the edge. Okay, so I feel like this is put, um, put together pretty well. We're gonna flip it over 
and put all the pieces on and see what we have. So the head, and right now, so, so there's gonna be a few of you guys who want to um, start taping right away, but you don't wanna do that because I, I'm always lining things up. Even though it, it looks like we should know where things go, you still wanna be able to have that, um, the capability of moving things around to make it look more even. If you start taping right away, you're gonna run into an issue where one piece looks really, really bad. And then there's sort of really no undoing without ruining the cardstock. So, all right, so let's put all these pieces together and see what we have. Now I know for sure, so at the top right here, he should have some little uh, yellow feathers that I somehow, I think I threw them away. I didn't realize I needed those pieces, so I need to recut those. So for this for this video, we're not gonna have it in time because I didn't recut it. Okay, one thing that you may also notice is I changed blades in the middle of this. So you could see right here, it didn't cut very well. I would just either rip it out. Um, we'll do it before we tape it down. I'll pick it up again. All right, so let's pull these pieces and see what we have. Um, let's see, okay, so we have, what do we have here? Uh, we've got this. Oh, this is where I'm so bad. Um, okay, oh yeah, there we go. That looks like it goes somewhere here, which means... Piece right there. Um, all right, let's see. What in the world? Why doesn't this look like it goes? <laughs> oh, there. Okay. All these feather pieces, it's so hard to tell things apart. Okay, let's see. He's got two fingers up, so it goes something like that. See, like this one for sure. I'm going to need to do some re realignment. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> okay, so this foot... Yes, this foot definitely goes there. This foot. All right, and then we have, maybe this goes over here, no. Oh, this way, jeez. All right, so you can see I'm making some serious adjustments right now because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, No, nope. I've got all these pieces wrong. <laughs> if you're wondering where the cardstock that I'm using, I am using, um, let's see, this pink is from Ground Up Creations. It's a beautiful cardstock. The orange is from Cricut, and the yellow is actually like, it's orange yellow, and I absolutely love it. It's from Cricut's 12 by 24 um, paper. It is 12 by 24. I did not intend to use it, so everything's actually cut for a 12 by 12 mat. So, okay, so let's do some adjusting right here because clearly things are not lining up properly. So I think it's something like this. Let's see. I mean, we have clues all over, right? But for some reason, it's not all lining up for me. And that's partially to the designer. Not all of these pieces will be equal, right? Like they won't have an equal black outline sometimes. So that is gonna throw you off as well. And see how this piece right here, I would just rip it off. And you see from a seams perspective, I did some deliberate cuts in design space. So it like, I think this was all connected by added another cut right here. So to me, he looks seamless. Um, well, he would if I can figure out how to get him to look good right here. Let's see, that has to go right around there, okay. That looks 
looks more right. Okay. And let's move these over. Let's see, his foot can go down a little bit more. I know my picture is right there, but all right. And this piece. Oh my gosh, now I know where this piece is. I threw it away. Give me a second. <laughs> it was a little triangular piece and I was like, I don't think I need this piece and I threw it away. All right, so I'm gonna have to recut that as well as recut these three feathers up here what a hot mess okay so i'm still like this file has me really baffled as to how all of these pieces go because it's not lining up for me the way i would like i feel like it's off and i'm trying to look in the camera too to see where this can be all right So because all the pieces go down on a, let's see, let me move this down a little bit more. All the pieces are going down against the black cardstock. We can actually just use double-sided tape, which is what I prefer. And I almost feel like, do I have some pieces backwards here? I don't think that goes there, does it? Oh, maybe it does go like that. Okay. And just remember, there's a triangular piece that goes right there. <laughs> I don't like this. I feel like it's... I mean, they're feathers. Okay. Um, let's see if we can make any more changes to this section right here. I feel like that's just the way he is. All right, so I think we're good. Um, so I'm going to have my double-sided tape. I love the Tombow, and I have some scratch paper here. So I'm just going to lift up some of these things, like I'm going to do the eyes. So inside the face is a good place to start because then we'll have these pieces in so we'll know when we lift up the face where it should go back, right? So now when you're using this though, through like wherever you have little holes, you can have um, some webbing like from the tape so I just kind of push back just to make sure that we don't see any of that and then I'll put it back down so Big Bird is a design space image, so it's kind of cool that we can all easily find this image and work on the same image. Um, so if you follow my design space tutorial, you'll be able to find him. In, and I believe there was a 10% discount for having access. Um, I think for these characters, um, you don't get the 50% off. Do You do get the 50% off if you have access and you're buying an image, like a a box or a letter, but not when it comes to these characters. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over. If you want to use the same glitter cardstock, I do have a discount for ground up creations. So if you use the useless crafter as your code, um, you will get, I wanna say 10% off. Okay, so I'm gonna move this for a second. Move it up a little bit. Okay, so the reason 
is so that you can see this a little bit more. I want to put down the face because the features, the eyes and the mouth are already in. So let's just turn this around. You can see I didn't, <laughs> I had issues with my cutting. So this ripped a little bit, but it's not a problem. It didn't impact the front of the face. So actually, and now is a good time to kind of clean up my edges. So I have like this little piece right here. I want to pull it off. See if I have any other issues. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it over and just make sure that I get good glue down. And if you're wondering why I'm not using glue, especially on this, because this is regular cardstock, it's not glitter cardstock, it sort of shows through and it, sometimes it can warp the paper if you're not too careful. So I really do prefer um, double-sided tape. All right, so I think we've got everything. Let's flip this over. Okay, he looks good. And see how I'm just kind of lightly putting his face down? Even though the double-sided tape is touching the black, until I really press down on it, I still have a little bit of wiggle room. So see that nose, how it kind of it was getting a little sticky, but it still let me kind of move around. All right, so I think that's good. So now that I press down, now it's gonna be pretty stuck. Okay, so that's down. Let's re realign our pieces because it moved a little bit as my hands were bumping into things. Okay. So let's do this pink, or actually let's do the orange piece first, the inside, because then we'll know exactly where the pink goes. I want to line it up a little bit just to make sure. Okay. All right. So here's where I have a really cool tool because I can't seem to pick up these pieces without moving everything. This is the We Are Memory um, Keeper Quick Stick. So on one side, you have like a little tacky um, portion. So like it picks up this, right, without moving everything. So I'm going to put tape on it here. I'm gonna hold this in place, kind of let this drop down. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna pick up this piece. So this piece, let's put this down. And I find that at the end, the brayer works really well to just smush everything down. But all right, let's get this foot down. I love the colors on this. I think it's just so, so pretty. All right, so let's get this down. Oh, so like I was saying, the orange-yellow piece, it's actually 12 by 24 cardstock from Cricut. 
and it's sort of orangey but just had enough yellow to it that I wanted to use this one because I felt like my glitter cardstock I didn't I only had gold or orange and I felt like it really needed a yellow not a gold all right so this is down let's do this foot over here same thing I'm gonna scooch it over so that I have better access to the foot okay and I kind of want the foot to be more like that. Let's make these changes before we finalize. See, like that piece it doesn't exactly fit to me, even though I didn't make any adjustments, obviously. Okay. Actually, it needs to be more. Uh, This design's a little crazy for me, okay? It's not even enough. All right, so let's start putting these together. Ah, uh, did I just, I did just run out, okay. Give me one second. So I just bought this from Michael's it's the replacement, and I don't know if you're aware of this, but Michael's on their website, they have a category called Pro. So with Pro, you have to buy more in bulk. So um, this was, it was such a good deal to buy it in bulk though. It was, um, now I can't remember how many came in a pack, but um, it was such a good deal. It was just like a fraction of the cost. So let me show you how to do it. You take this out. This is the replacement. On this one, you just press down right here, pull this out, and this is the old one. You just toss it. And then this one just goes in. And so, yeah, you just pop it in, press, and then you're ready to go again. Okay. This stick is on my Amazon shop, so you can probably, if you order it right now, get it um, on Monday. <laughs> okay, so. And it is, uh, so my Amazon shop is amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. And everything's categorized by projects um, or general categories like Cricut products or crafting products. So you'll be able to find that there. All right, so here we go. That piece looks so weird to me. Okay, let's pick this one up. And just put tape on it. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's some webbing. So I'm just going to take my fingertips and kind of push it back. All right. So now we have it. Okay. Let's do this big foot. with just four pieces in the middle and the missing triangle <laughs> so we're gonna put that together right now we are going to tape him down but look at I mean the cool thing is because it is a little bit off centered you could technically cover up the seams which I can't even see the seams right now for the black um, but I see one right here but this one I mean you're not really gonna notice it it's right at the bottom your eyes are kind of going to his face and to his body, so I definitely need to get that little triangular piece in there. 
All right, so let's just readjust while we have a moment just to make sure we're happy with the alignment. I think I'm happy with that. So this, I'm almost tempted because I don't want to mess with the, whoa, I forgot my scotch tape was there. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to get out if I have it and I don't. Okay, I'm going to just take this out and put tape down. So this piece is down. I'm gonna do this one next. Just gonna flip it over and tape it down. so cute all right let's do this one now this one with this thin sliver I am gonna pull this piece over so that I can make sure I tape that down now with the blades I don't know if you guys feel comfortable with me enough yet but I love those blades from Amazon. They are, um, what was it? Ten, five dollars for 30 of them or 10, whatever it is, it's so much cheaper than Cricut. And um, so now as soon as I don't cut well, I change out my blade <laughs> and I love it. So check out my Amazon shop for that. I absolutely love those blades and only get the blue ones because you don't need the other colors. All right, one piece left, this one. Okay, so let's turn this over and tape it down. And then I'm gonna show you the foam board and then we're done. All right, so. So this is what he looks like right now. Let me move this out of the way. Pretty cute. Oops, let me move this out of the way. He looks cute. All right, so let's put him down on a poster board and I'll show you what to do with him. All right. So this is the foam board from the Dollar Tree. And so it's a dollar, it's great. So all you wanna do is, you wanna put him down. Now see, he's kind of wide, right? So his feet don't actually fit on the board, but that's okay because the majority of him is going to be supported, so he's fine. What you wanna make sure though, is you want to make sure that this bottom, his feet, feet are supported because just think about he's going to be sitting down this is going to be touching the table or the floor wherever you have him propped up against okay so all right what you want is you want to grab a white pencil if you have it if not I was using a mechanical pencil it's just easier to see against the black so you want to trace the outline and don't worry about this is, we're not super precise here. We're just tracing the outline and then we're gonna cut inside the outline. So that way your foam board does not show through at all. Okay. 
So yeah, so if you cut inside the lines, then you don't have to worry about it um, poking through. And really, if you think about this, we don't need to cut it all the way to the edge. If the majority of the of the body is supported, he's gonna stand upright, right? So we wanna make sure this part is super strong, his head's gonna be standing straight up, um, and you won't have to worry about it. And he's so many like little bubbly shapes all around. I'm probably just gonna, like when I cut this, it's just gonna be one big circle and then a square down the middle. And then this top part, I know you can't see it, but he has the feathers. I'm not gonna go around the feathers. I'm not gonna support the feathers. It'll be fine. I'm just going to go around his head. And we're almost there. So I'm gonna pull him over so you can see his outline. Okay, and I prefer using the Cricut knife blade. So like I was saying, I'm probably just gonna cut a big circle right here. This down here, I wanna stay close to here to give it support for the feet. So actually I'm gonna start here. And you'll see, I'm just gonna go inside the lines. And you see how I avoided all those little bubbly cuts? Okay, we may need to revisit because of the angle that I cut this at, but we'll see. Um, all right, so here. to come back because I went outside of the line a little bit. And you can see it's so much easier to do one straight cut. And you can always turn it around to see where you didn't cut through. So like right here, I'm missing a little bit. Okay. Flip this back over. Okay, so I need to go in a little bit here, otherwise we're gonna be able to see it. So on this, I'm gonna come straight over like this. And sometimes it's easier just to cut off that piece so that I could see better and then come back down. All right, so let's see how well I did. Let's bring him back. And I think he's okay like this. I'm gonna cut. Yeah, 
I think he's okay like this. I see a little bit poking through right here, so I'm just gonna take my knife blade. Here we go. Okay, so what you wanna do is, I have a glue gun here, but I want the bigger glue gun. I'm going to plug it in. So give me a second. So with the glue gun, what you want to do is you sort of want to glue, I say I glue down the bottoms first and then I'll flip it over so that I can lift him up and kind of glue the whole body a little bit at a time so that every spot gets a little bit of glue and I'm not bending the paper and I'm not ruining the paper in any way. So this is heating up. Let's see what else we can talk about while that's heating up. Um, I, it's going to stand propped up so you can see all mine in the back. It's just on a table. So as long as it has the wall to, to be propped up against, it will stand. So, and some of these are really old. You've seen me do um, the older ones with the Cinderella and Snow White up there. And then my newer ones would be like the Elf and Tiana. But like that Sugar Skull one has been here for over a year. So these last, you know, for a long time. And especially for parties because they're for, really for party decor, it's like sitting at the dessert table or for pictures, it's not being manhandled. So I feel like with the foam board, it doesn't need to be so exact and you, it will still, you know, help you keep the whole party prop very sturdy and stable. So, all right, let's see if this is, well, it's not warmed up yet. Um, all right, let me flip the back side so you can see what it looks like on the back. So you can see it doesn't go to the edge, right? But it's sturdy enough that this is going to be propped up. It'll stand. Um, you want to make sure that the spine is covered, right? This one's a little bit tricky because his neck gets really thin. But if you think of most of your um, characters, like the princesses, it's a solid body. So you're going to have the foam board is going to give you so much um, support. And if you see that sugar skull one, I mean, it's literally a, a rectangle. So she's really sturdy. This one will be sturdy as well because this is not that thin. I've done thinner pieces. Um, but don't worry about that. And then for the foot, so this foot is supported, right? It's full, but this one didn't have a full support, but this is not gonna flop. This is supported enough that this will stand straight up. So don't worry about that. And worst case is, okay, it's finally warming up. Worst case is um, you can always add like a popsicle stick or something if you were worried. Like if you had really thin pieces, like the top of his um, head, how he has these little feathers. If they were more at the edges, I would be worried about them. But at the top, because everything else is supported, it will stay up and hopefully no one's touching it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna flip him back over and then let's just make sure that nothing is showing when we flip him over. So readjust him a little bit. We want to make sure that the bottoms have the support so that it won't ruin your cardstock. And I think that's good. Okay, so let's get this. Okay, so it's warming up. Let's do the foot over here. And then I'm going to do the foot over here. So now that the bottoms, just barely a little bit at the bottom is glued down, I'm gonna flip it over this way so that I can lift him up, almost like he's, you know, like in yoga where you like, he slowly like move down your spine, roll down your spine. That's what we're doing with these characters. We don't wanna bend it, but we wanna make sure that we're giving it enough glue for it to stay supported. So like right now, I don't even know if I need to go all the way down there. If I got this portion, it's going to stay up. So let me just make sure I have enough. Another glue stick. 
so I have two different glue guns. I have one that's more for like the smaller pieces, the precision tip, and then I have a giant one that uses this big stick for these pieces so that it can cover a lot. Um, all right, so now let's get going. Okay, so I'm lifting it up and you can see I, I don't want to bend anything. So if I can't get to it, it's okay, but right here I can add some glue right here. So you see I'm just going across, then I'm gonna stop for a second, put it down, kind of press down, make sure that everything is good. And what's nice about this is with the glue gun, now that we're using the glue gun, is you have your black background layer so that your gold layer is not going to feel the the glue and get warped so let me feed in the other glue stick all right so here we go let's finish him off And now, if we need to, just make sure that everything's down. All right, so he is down. I'm gonna flip him over. And I'm gonna prop him up against me, okay? But see, he stands. He's awesome. And look how big his face is. It's like the same as my face. <laughs> so this is a great party prop. I'm gonna put him back here just so that you can see really quickly, okay? He's so cute. All right, let me know what you think. If you have questions, feedback, right now is a great time to let me know on this video. Um, and if you have a special request, let me know as well. And if you need to send me a file, it's anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, see you guys next time.